Many kids across the nation play video games. You have probably played some kind of video game at some point in your life. In fact, 65% of households in the U.S. play video games. Some of these mind-stimulating interactive video games can be quite violent. According to WashingtonTimes.com, 71% of video games contain at least some mild violence, while 25% included intense violence. Whether or not violent video games are bad for children has become a highly controversial topic. However, research has shown that violent video games are, have not directly caused actual violence, and therefore actually aren't all that bad for kids. Articles from TechHive.com and Forbes.com have indicated that video gaming does not increase crime. Violent video games do affect society, but not in the way that most people would think. A theory is that these violent, gory games have actually made the society less violent, since the kids who play them will be too busy to go out into the streets and, and do real violent things. Violent video games may in fact have caused the decrease in real world violence, since the ones who play them will be too involved with playing to cause actual pain. According to Harvard psychologist Steven Pinker, we are actually living in the safest period in the history of history, and statistics have shown a, a huge drop in crime over the past 20 years. In fact, Forbes.com reveals, as violent video games have become more popular, crime has fallen. The numbers have suggested that it's highly unlikely that violent video games would be a direct cause of actual violence. Video gaming is a way to re release aggression rather than cause it. Yes, the media, violent or not, affects our society and impacts the decisions that kids make. Some kids are affected negatively by the violent video games, but there are other factors that fuel their actions besides just gaming. TechHive.com suggests that young men, young men who are most likely to commit violent acts are kept busy with these games. Instead of performing bad behaviors, they are just letting them out. Aggressive actions that seem to have correlated with violent video games have never been extreme. In fact, the kids who play probably release their aggressions by playing these games instead of taking them out on other people. Everyone has something they can look to as an escape. For some, gaming might be a way to release violent behavior. These violent games are also only available to a mature audience, those who can handle playing them. Those who can handle playing them. These violent games are directed more to those who have the tolerance to actually play them. An opposing viewpoint the New York Times presents is that doses of violent video games make people act a little more rudely. While it's easy to assume that violent video games can impact behaviors negatively, this is incorrect because there could be people who play these violent games who release their aggressions in the game instead of other people by being rude. It's almost implying that playing video games will make someone a rude person, which could not be the case at all. While many might believe that violent video games correlate to real life violence and possibly affect their behavior, I find that these games could actually teach the kids who play them how to think strategically and effectively. In these violent games, the kids who play them often have to make decisions and think of ways to stay alive. These games are mind stimulating, so they teach players a sense of instinct, and so they know how to think in certain situations and make smart decisions. Violent video games are seen as recreational media and can serve as a temporary escape or release. The kids who play these know that the violence is merely fantasy, and studies have shown that it hasn't correlated with real world violence. I used to believe that violent video games had only negative impact. But I've come to understand that when kids play these games, they release their aggressions and learn how to think strategically in situations. Violent video games have fueled the minds of kids, but have not provoked actual violence or crime in the real world. So they are not that bad for kids to play. So therefore, let kids continue playing these games since no real harm is being done.